Blackmagic Design's recent announcement was a surprise. It's fair to say, users might have expected a 6K or even an 8K camera, but the move right up to 12K was a completely unexpected one. It's a 12K camera, but not for the reasons you think. Blackmagic Design didn't really make the camera with the resolution it has so that you can film in 12K. You can do this perfectly easily, of course, if you want to, but the real reason why it exists is so that you can shoot exceptional 8K and 4K. It was famously said that the perfect resolution for a camera is 100 megapixels at 14K. Why? Because the human eye consists of 100 million rods and cones. The 80 megapixel of the 12K Ursa Mini is well on the way towards that ideal. At resolutions as high as these pixels becomes pretty much irrelevant, noise structure becomes incredibly fine and with oversampled lower resolutions, it becomes average out further. Subtle details and texture structure is picked up that you simply do not achieve with a native 4K or even 8K camera. At this sort of resolution, while aliasing technically still exists, it is visually reduced to nothing. It's just too fine to see. High frequency edges become naturally smooth. According to Blackmagic, the Osa Mini Pro 12K sensor and Blackmagic RAW were designed in synergy to make 12-bit RAW workflow in 12K effortless. As stated by Blackmagic, as an incredibly efficient next-generation codec, Blackmagic RAW lets customers shoot 12K and edit on a laptop, a capability that simply isn't possible with other codecs. The Osa Mini Pro 12K can shoot standard resolutions and frame rates in 4K, 8K and 12K. Furthermore, shooters have the options to capture still and motion shots at the same time. The shooting options are 60 frames per second in 12K. Filmmakers can also shoot 110 frames in 8K and even window the sensor to Super 16 to capture 4K at 220 frames per second at 4096 by 2160 DCI. Awesome Mini Pro 12K shooters can get dual built-in CFast and UHS-2 SD card recorders and the Super Speed USB-C expansion port for recording to fast SATA and NVMe drives. With dual recording turned on, Awesome Mini Pro 12K can record simultaneously across two cards up to an incredibly 900 megabytes per second to two CFast cards or 500 megabytes per second to two UHS-2 SD cards. The Super Speed USB-C expansion port on the rear can record you. USB-C flash storage up to 900 megabytes per second as a third recording option. For comparison, the 4.6K G2 model features USB-C 3.1 generation 1 which operates up to 5 gigabytes per second while the new 12K model has a USB-C 3.1 generation 2 for a blistering 10 gigabytes per second. The sensor in the 12K Osa Mini has been in development for 3 to 4 years now. Importantly, it needs to be taken account of in light of B-Raw RAW format. The two go hand in hand and in fact, B-Raw was designed with the new sensor in mind. There are currently no other sensor on the market that works in this way. At this resolution, the full technology behind it is still closely guarded by the company. This is not a Foveon sensor nor is it similar to the ones used by the Sony F35. It's entirely new. There is no debayer sensor going on here. The sensor is full RGB, so it has an equal number of red, green and blue pixels. So artifacts that can usually appear with Bayer sensors are brought down to an absolute minimum. No matter what you hear about how it works, you won't be getting the full story unless NDAs are being broken. The sensor is a Super 35, sized at 27.03mm by 14 by 25 millimeters. Questions have been raised about this sensor size and why BMD didn't go full frame. The majority of phone production actions is still shot on a Super 35 sensor and this is where the wider selection of lenses lies, particularly in the camera's default supplied PL mount. The camera features an interchangeable lens mount. Filmmakers can switch between PL, EF and F mount lenses on the Osa Mini Pro 12K as well as B4 lenses on the Osa Mini Pro G2 4.6K. This means that customers can work with high quality large PL cinema lenses, EF or F mount photographic lenses and B4 broadcast lenses. Another aspect 
that will cause raised eyebrows in the fact that the Ulsa Mini Pro 12K will only record B-Raw. There is no ProRes option anywhere. It's pretty easy to see why you can't record ProRes in 12K for one thing. But the other reasons goes back to what I said previously. This camera was designed from the beginning to use the very specific features of B-Raw and the B-Raw was designed from the beginning to use the very specific features of the Ulsa 12K. The RGB arrangement of the sensor and the way data is captured means that to record Record 422 ProRes would effectively defeat the point of the camera. You might as well go in for an awesome Mini Pro G2 in this case. Is there a case for at least putting ProRes 4444 format onto it? Maybe, but then there is still no ProRes 12K variant. And if you are going to do that, you might as well record B-Raw to begin with. It would mean Final Cut Pro X compatibility. But as I say, it's a moot point because ProRes cannot do 12K anyways. It could work with lower resolutions, but it would be a bit of an out the codec on the camera if that were the case. So what happens then? Going in for another awesome model shouldn't be a problem. Blackmagic Generation 5 Color Science features a new film curve designed to make full use of the massive amount of color data from the new Ulsa Mini Pro 12K sensor. This is supposed to deliver even better color response for more pleasing skin tones and a better rendering of highly saturated colors such as neon signs and car tail lights in high contrast scenes. Generation 5 Color Science informs complex Blackmagic raw image processing with color and dynamic range data from the sensor preserved via metadata for use in post-production. Compatibility with previous short Blackmagic files, Generation 5 Color Science lets you take advantage of the new film curve even with your existing work. The camera body is made from lightweight, robust magnesium alloy. Buttons, switches, and dials are laid out in a logical order that makes them easy to find by feel while using the viewfinder. You get connections such as 12G SDI in and out, USB-C, 40V Phantom Power XLR audio, timecode, and the reference in. The optional Blackmagic Magic shoulder mount kits lets you go from tripod to handheld immediately. The design is very much like previous Ulsa Mini Pro models, so there is no difference in look of the camera. The G2 models were developed with the focus of enhanced and improved electronics. However, the Ulsa Mini Pro 12K was developed almost from scratch. According to Grant Petty, Blackmagic founder and CEO, the company has put a lot of research into this new model, stating that there is a lot of new technology and patents implemented in this camera. For instance, the sensor is brand new and was entirely designed by Blackmagic. Petty also states, the sensor was developed to maximize the utilization of the B-Raw. The sensor structure is made of symmetrical color pattern and not like the regular Bayer filter. That unique characteristics allow full RGB quality for high-end applications. Well, according to Petty, a lot of broadcast professionals prefer full RGB to reduce distortions and the combination of 12K sensor with lower dynamic range compared to the other horses will be optimal with the full RGB sensor. So if we read between the lines or between Petty's words, there might be an indication here for a camera that aims for broadcasters. Nevertheless, another positive side effect from this new sensor design is the ability to shoot different resolutions without cropping or changing the field of view. The name IMAX was mentioned once in the Ulsa Mini Pro 12K press release. Unofficially, Blackmagic has developed the first consumer camera that can meet IMAX requirements regarding resolutions. The huge canvas has a resolution that is equivalent to 11K, although there are cameras that shoot for IMAX in lower resolution besides IMAX cameras. For instance, Alexa 2.8K that was upscaled to IMAX screening in Skyfall. A 12K would be the ideal execution, therefore the new Black Blackmagic Ulsa Mini Pro 12K is the world's most affordable IMAX camera and that concept can open a lot of doors for independent productions that are eager to get their film screened at IMAX theaters. So in conclusion, is the 12K relevant or somebody might ask, why do I need a 12K camera? Well, that's the most interesting thing and one I tackled ahead on in the article. It does 12K, but the real reason it has 12K is to make a really good 8K and 4K film. In other words, it wasn't made to get people filming in 12K, well if you want to, but to make really good oversampled lower resolution footage. Now a few things to keep in mind. B 
viewer at this moment can only be edited in Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. Final Cut Pro users can't edit this file since Final Cut Pro doesn't support B-Raw. The 12K RAW mentioned before can be edited on a laptop. This statement made does not work for just any laptop. To edit B-Raw footages, you need a good machine and good specs. If you are a Premiere Pro user, you might be thinking of proxies now. That's an awesome idea, but to work fully in Resolve requires good machine specs, not just any laptop. Color grading B-Raw in Resolve works better than color grading in any other software. I had a little discussion with some Koreans on my Quora platform and a few people raised some questions. Your answers are needed in the comment section below. 1. Why didn't Blackmagic go with the ProRes option with the B-Raw in 12K? 2. A is a Final Cut Pro user. What do I do since I'm not used to B-Raw files and DaVinci Resolve? Or should I move on to learning the new software, either Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve? 3. Paul Teba also wants to know why a 12K camera body is going for such a low price. 4. Atira Detna wants an update to full frame interpolation for the 12K device. Kindly leave any question you have below in the comment section and we will be glad to answer you. If you have any explanations to any of these questions above, feel free to share. And one thing to keep in mind, the Blackmagic Osa Mini Pro 12K was available in July 2020 from Blackmagic Design Resellers Worldwide for $9,995 and can be pre-ordered on the B&H website. If you love my videos, kindly don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe.